Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to talk to you, I want to introduce you to ServiceNow DevOps. Okay, so ServiceNow DevOps has been around for a couple of releases now. And this video, I want to talk about kind of like what it is, why you'd want to use it. I've got a dashboard up behind me. I'm going to show you that here in a second. But let's talk use case for DevOps. DevOps is a buzzword. I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to kid with you. People throw that around like, you know, nobody's business. DevOps and ServiceNow is essentially a way for you to pull together all the different development tools that might be in your organization, in your company, and have visibility into what's going on with those development tools. So that could be planning tools like Jira or Azure DevOps where people have stories and epics. It could be coding tools like GitHub, Azure DevOps has their own uh, code repository capability, GitLab, other ones you might have heard of or straight up Git. The third thing you could pull in is testing tools. So when people are moving stuff from sub-production to production and development environments, they may have automated testing. When those automated tests have test results, then there's the actual tools that move things between build, test, production, and we call those pipelining tools or orchestration tools. You can pull those into service now. And you can even bring in security tools so that you can see stuff like is the code compliant with whatever security rules are, or is it is there a bug that's been introduced based on known data out there? So you can integrate that data. What DevOps lets you do is bring that to one place and have visibility to it in ServiceNow. So behind me, I've got metrics around accelerating your DevOps processes. So deployment frequency, average lead time, mean time to resolve, change failure rate, how are changes going? deployment frequency, mean time to resolve trend over time. So really good information there around accelerating your DevOps processes. Commit insights. What are people doing in those code repositories? How many commits per developer? How many files per commit are they doing? How many of those commits have been reverted? Helpful information. On the development side, frequency of commit, average branches per repository, average commits per pipeline execution. Again, more data points. And then the holy grail that we get to here with ServiceNow DevOps is how can we bring those DevOps processes and align them with our change management processes? So where does that fit in ITSM? Can we get those changes out faster? How many changes are we doing? How long has it taken to close those changes? What's the approval rate for changes from our developers versus changes from our non-developers? And how many of those are causing incidents or outages and stuff like that? How much stuff is waiting for approval? So these are the advantages of using ServiceNow DevOps to bring all those various tool sets into one central place, giving your management team, your leadership team, the teams themselves that they want to come into ServiceNow, your change manager, your ITSM teams, visibility into what's going on with those deployments, what's a success rate. So in a future video, we're going to see this in action. And the key thing that is, I just shared all this stuff that we can bring in and have visibility to in ServiceNow. Once it's there, we can use that data to influence our processes. So if you submit a change and you have a high success rate, very little reversions, and you do a lot of commits, we might auto approve the change. If you have lots of reversions, if you have stuff that fails and stuff like that, we may not approve it right away. We may want to run it through a manager or run it through CAD or something else. So again, we bring insights in our ServiceNow DevOps brings insights from those development tools into ServiceNow, but then you can use those insights to drive processes, accelerate your DevOps processes, ensure compliance, show auditors that you're doing what you say you're going to do around change management, and everyone's happy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.